Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for to make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Old man goes to school for the first time and teacher laughs at him, but soon he regretted it a lot. There seems to be a widespread assumption that you're too old to learn something new after a certain age. However, if this were true, many inventions and businesses would not exist today. According to an interactive infographic from funders and founders, Gordon Bowker, the founder of Starbucks, was 51 years old when he founded the firm, while Charles Flint, the founder of IBM, was 61 years old when he founded the company. These are excellent illustrations of how you can never be too old to take on a new endeavor. IT contractors are in the same boat. Because technology is constantly developing and improving, staying current with industry standards necessitates knowing about new technology. Because, in truth, late bloomers can achieve success. Another infographic was made by funders and founders to show late bloomers who became successful later in life. Julia Child, for example, was a well-known French cuisine cook who had no prior knowledge of the cuisine until she was 30 years old. Everyone has the ability to learn something new. He presented himself to the classroom in his impeccable shirt, old but well-pressed trousers, and his inevitable hat. He was very excited because his biggest goal at the time was learning to read and write. However, the children saw him and started laughing at him. But the most cruel mockery was that of the teacher himself, who did not hesitate to laugh when he saw the old man and treated him as a decrepit old man, without knowing that shortly after he would be begging for his forgiveness when he found out who he really was. Don Panchito was close to turning 70 years old, and he promised his wife, Dona Testrita, that he would learn to read and write because that was his greatest desire, and he was not going to leave this world without achieving it. His wife suggested that he not go to school because the children could be cruel, and what better way to hire a teacher to teach him from home. However, the noble elder said that he wanted to have the satisfaction of going through a classroom, and since he was a child, Don Panchito watched with great enthusiasm how the children went to school while he had to work the land alongside his father and his brothers. He always thought that one day he could sit back at a desk and learn. However, his father's plans were different. Since he assured that the future lay in working the land and not in learning numbers and letters, that did not produce money. This way it is possible they're making that great illusion of Panchito, who always received a negative response from his father when he asked for permission to attend school. Panchito decided that if his destiny was to work the land, he was going to do it in the best possible way. So he put effort every day to learn that trade that his father so lovingly taught him. At age 18, Panchito met Terastita, the daughter of another landowner in the area, who reciprocated when he spoke of love. They got married and she became a great support to him, and she knew a lot about agriculture, and they worked together from sunrise to sunset. When Panchito's father died, he inherited all of his children equally. But the two older ones did not want to stay in the village, and they sold his land to him. With his savings, and with those of his wife, he completed the costs they had asked for, and they worked hard. So, that ten years later, his bank account was really juicy. Since Panchito could not read, much less numbers, he had the support of a cousin, who he had the opportunity to study, and he was in charge of helping him with money management. Fortunately, the man was of good principles and did not take advantage of Panchito's lack of knowledge, who by now had two children with Dona Terestita, and the noble peasant wanted his children to have a different future, so he sent them to study in the nearest town where there was a private school. He watched with great satisfaction as his children took a book and read. He also enjoyed watching them do addition, subtraction, and multiplication. Even though he didn't understand any of it, his cousin was the one who supported them when they did homework, and the boys were very good students. When they were already in high school, Dona came up with the idea that her children could teach her father to read and write. But to her surprise, the teens refused to do so and told her that they couldn't waste time because they had so many academic obligations. 
The lady did not even mention it to her husband because she felt disappointed in them, since her father was a man who gave everything so that they did not lack anything. The years passed, and they asked to study at the university, while their father continued to work hard on those lands. The young people went to study and asked for large amounts of money for their expenses in the city. When they graduated, they decided to return to the ranch because, frankly, they did not want to work. They were lazy and didn't help Panchito, but he wasn't stupid, and he told them they had invested a lot of money in their education and they weren't going to throw him away like that, so he sent them to look for work. They both got jobs and made their lives away from their parents, although they gave them a hefty allowance to help them with their family. When Panchito turned 70, he thought it was time to rest and only watch the workers and decided to go to school. Dona did not agree with that decision, but she ended up supporting him, although she refused to attend with him, as she was also illiterate. Don Panchito spoke with the principal of the school and told them that there was no problem with him taking classes. So the next day, he came to the classroom in his traditional peasant clothes, and all the children called him Grandpa. The most daring laughed because they claimed that the man was crazy to want to study with them, but he ignored them and sat down at a desk. However, when the teacher arrived and saw him, he asked him to leave the classroom because it was forbidden for grandparents to stay with the children. Panchito told him that he was the new student, and the man laughed and told him, You're wasting your time. Haven't you heard the saying that old Laura doesn't learn to speak? Well, it's the same with human beings. You're already too old for this. The teacher in the other room listened to her colleague and told her that he was very wrong, that it is never too late to learn. But the man laughed again and said, if this man should not even see from the desk to the blackboard. The students laughed at each word from the teacher, and the other teacher told Don that she would take him to her classroom. At that moment, the director arrived and greeted the man. She immediately told them that he was the owner of the school because the land where it was built belonged to him and the work was built with money that he had donated. All the students were silent, and the professor bowed his head and apologized in front of the authority. But Don Panchito told him that he was not worthy to be called a teacher because he had a head full of prejudices and he looked down on older adults. Upon learning what had happened, the director made the decision to fire the man, while Don Panchito received classes with the other teacher, who in record time of six months, he managed to read and also learn mathematics. He completed the accelerated primary cycle and went to her promotion on the arm of her inseparable Teresita, who she felt very proud of the tenacity of her husband, because she had shown that it is never too late to learn. It's never too late to pick up a new skill, and I don't mean a new keyboard shortcut or an Excel formula. I mean something truly revolutionary, something that could alter your perspective of the world and take you down a whole different road. Just reading it may have thousands of justifications on the tip of your tongue, but before you release them, consider this. If Guadalupe Palacios, a non-Angerian, can learn to read and write, complete primary and middle school, and enroll in high school, then you too may branch out and pursue new interests, even after you thought you were done with school forever. Do you agree? According to an AFP report, Palacios grew up poor, cultivating corn and beans with her family in a Mexican indigenous community. She never had the opportunity to attend school as a child and grew up quickly, selling chickens, marrying twice, and raising six children of her own. No one would have blamed her if she had grieved the years of schooling she had missed out on and considered it a lost opportunity decades ago. That, however, does not appear to be Palacios' style. At the age of 92, she participated in a literacy program. Now I can send letters to my boyfriends, she joked, and then an adult primary school program. She too had completed middle school and was ready for the next stage within a few years. I'm prepared to give it everything I've got. On her first day at a public secondary school in Tuxla Gutierrez, the state capital of Chiapas, the 96-year-old told the AFP, today is a great day. After exhausting the adult programs available to her, she felt that continuing her education was vital enough to enroll alongside her teenage classmates, whom she affectionately refers to as Dona Lupita. She appears to be a kindergarten teacher and intends to graduate before her age reaches the triple digits. 
Dear friends, this is where our story ends today. We hope, as always, it's been to your liking. If you liked it, give us a like. Leave us your valuable comments so that we can all read it. Share in your social media networks. Subscribe to our channel. And by the way, click on the notification bell so that you're always notified when we have a new video. And in this way, you don't miss any of our stories. For now, we only have to invite you to join us on the next one. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.